My name's Connor. I'm just talking about the invisible forces of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. Well, we know that the electromagnetic spectrum, part of that's the light that we see, but you mentioned invisible portion. What exactly makes up the invisible portion of the spectrum? Radio waves, infrared waves, gamma rays, ultraviolet rays, and microwaves. Okay. So several types of electromagnetic waves that we can't see, in addition to the visible light that we do see. And I know you mentioned radio waves. Is that like the radio in your car, or is it... How do, how do those work exactly? They're used for communication and, and yeah, so they're like the ones in your car. Okay, so like when you turn the radio on, you're actually getting that to your car through these radio waves, invisible electromagnetic waves, okay. And I know you also mentioned x-rays. What, what do we use those for? They're like, it's like someone fell down and broke the bone. They can go see if it's like, like they fell down and you can see your bone and your cartilage, and that's what x-rays, that's what the most, that's, those two absorb the most of the x-ray windows. Okay, so the x-rays are actually traveled, like if you shoot x-rays at your arm for an arm x-ray, they those waves actually go through your skin and muscles and all of that, mm -hmm. but not the bones, I guess, and that's how we see yeah. them on the x-ray machine, okay? Um, and you said ultraviolet waves also, what what do they do exactly? They can reflect off the ozone air and clear, and, 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 and they can give you sunburn without unprotected skin. Okay, so when we talk about like the UV radiation from the sun, that's that ultraviolet light causing your skin to burn. If you're sitting at a beach and you're on sunscreen, you're going to probably get sunburned. Okay, so the sunscreen helps block that frequency of radiation. Okay, and what was another type? We said gamma rays also, right? How do, how do gamma rays work? Gamma rays has a, like the highest energy and that are the most dangerous ways and that on the, on the, they're the most dangerous on a living organism and that um, um, gamma rays come from a interaction such as nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. So when you're actually, I guess, dealing with like a nuclear power plant, nuclear bombs, things like that, they're giving off that gamma radiation then and that's, as we know, very harmful for us. All right, well that's that's pretty interesting information there about the electromagnetic spectrum, the portion of it that we don't necessarily think about because we don't see it. But definitely, you know, some of those have a lot of use for us. I think there was one other though that you talked about too, I believe infrared. What's what's the use of the infrared rays? Oh, cops can use them for crime scenes and like night vision stuff. Okay. So they can like see in the dark the... All right, so the infrared, that, that's actually kind of a heat related type thing like it picks up heat like thermal goggles and things okay well pretty cool all right well thank you for sharing what you researched well, and we didn't talk about microwaves we didn't talk about microwaves that's right tell us about microwaves the microwaves like the um like you know how you put food in it and you turn it on like there's waves traveling to the food to make it warm up and so we can cook it okay so microwaves. we're cooking our food with electromagnetic radiation mm -hmm. is that dangerous for us I guess you wouldn't want to put yourself in the microwave, right? Probably okay for the food, but not okay for us to get a lot of it. All right, well, thanks for sharing what you found, and we'll look forward to seeing. I think you're doing a microwave demonstration for us as well, right? So we'll look forward to seeing that.